Do you know what a magnetron is? I'm guessing probably not. Did you know that you most likely have one in your kitchen? It's the little thing inside a microwave that allows it to make microwave radiation. And in my opinion, the magnetron is the bane of all kitchen design. Welcome to the Confessions of a Kitchen Designer, part one. And you guessed it, we're talking microwaves. Oh. <laughs> microwaves have been around for decades. And over those decades, they have risen and fallen in popularity. As a kitchen designer, the microwave is a real pain when it comes to design layout. Having to allocate valuable space in your kitchen for this one appliance, ugh. But somehow we've decided we cannot live without this one thing. And we got tired of the microwave taking up space on our kitchen countertop. And so some genius, somewhere in the past, decided to combine two appliances into one. And voila, the worst kitchen trend of the last 20 years was born. We all bought into it too. I put one of these in almost every kitchen I've designed. I'm just here today to say I'm sorry. Now, while I can't go back and change the past, I can do my part to steer the future of all kitchen design. Let's have a look at the pros and cons of the over-the-range microwave oven. The number one pro, really the only pro I can think of, and it's not really a pro, at all, but the number one pro is that it saves space. It's conveniently tucked away above the range. In other words, it's off the countertop, which is kind of funny because the countertop actually is the best place for a microwave. It's the most convenient, it's the safest. So I don't know what our gripe is about countertop microwaves, but for some reason, we've revolutionized kitchen design for the past number of years to try to take these appliances and stick them in places where really they don't belong. So by placing them over the range, they take up less countertop space. Big deal. Now let's get into the list of cons. Location. I mean, first of all, it's the worst location. It's dangerous, it's over your range. If you're short or a kid, it's not accessible. So location is the number one con. The reason we've moved it to this location is to save space, but really, this is not the best place for a microwave at all. Ventilation. This particular brand has this pull-out vent system. I mean, they're trying to make these as efficient as possible. But when we're talking about moving cubic meters of air, these things are not designed to do that. At best, you get about 300 CFM of air moving through this appliance, whereas a range hood would get you upwards to 1,000 CFM. And because these units have the option of recirculating air, many homeowners and designers put them in places they don't belong. So we'll move our stove onto a wall and we'll put a microwave range hood above that stove and we'll allow it to circulate through itself and blow that air back out into the room. This is not how ventilation works. The reason we have our ranges on outside walls, it's the easiest place to vent out a range hood to get that air outside the home. That's the whole purpose of a range hood. By combining it with a microwave and allowing it to recirculate, we're defeating the whole purpose. And if you do decide to ventilate a unit like this outside, well, you have to take up a whole cabinet for some duct work. While this is the best case scenario, it's still not the best case scenario. Two in one, that sounds like a pro. Wrong. How come we don't have blender range hoods or toaster oven range hoods or fridge range hoods? But no, for some reason, we've decided that you can take a microwave and a range hood and combine them together. This is a horrible idea. When your range hood breaks, now you just have a microwave oven that doesn't vent. Or when your microwave breaks, now you just have a very expensive range hood with a clock on it. And radiation. Yeah, yeah, I know. We all say that microwaves are safe, but are they? The UK and Canada have adopted the FDA regulations for microwaves. So they make these appliances as safe as possible, but there is still radiation that emits from your microwave. There's just an allowable amount. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure how comfortable I am with allowable amounts of ionizing radiation being emitted into my kitchen. I guess only time will tell how dangerous these appliances really were. So my best advice for wherever your microwave is located is if you're using it, just don't stand in front of it. Let's talk about some of the other options you have for your microwave. The microwave shelf in a wall cabinet. This is a fairly decent solution actually. For one, you can mount a regular microwave on a microwave shelf. Or you can buy trim kits to make them look like they're built in. And if installed at the right height, these things can actually be pretty convenient. Base cabinet application. 
While some complain that having a microwave in an island or a base cabinet is too low, it actually does meet the NKBA's standards for microwave placement. As long as the microwave is 15 inches off the floor, it is allowable. And there are also some great options here as far as the appliance goes. You can get a pull-out drawer style microwave that you access from the top, or like what I have is an oven style microwave where the door pulls down like an oven. This is actually quite convenient and it makes pulling things out of the microwave a little bit safer. It allows you to make sure that whatever you're nuking, you can get a good grip on. Then there is the pantry cabinet application. You can have your cabinet manufacturer build a custom size cutout inside of your pantry and you can also put a trim kit on that. These look relatively nice and you can have them installed at a good height so that you're not bending down too low or reaching up too high. And of course, there's just the good old fashioned countertop microwave. I know, I know, I can hear you now. Well, it takes up countertop space and I agree it does, but it is the safest and most convenient option for a microwave. Plus, it's also the cheapest option. If you need an online design solution for your kitchen renovation, check the link in the description below. I provide 3D renderings, elevation views, detailed floor plans, and assistance on getting you the most functional layout for your kitchen possible. And be sure to know, I will make sure your microwave has a home, but I will fight tooth and nail to make sure it does not go above your range. This has been Confessions of a Kitchen Designer. Next week's video, we're talking countertops. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Chances are you're gonna like what I've posted in the past and what I'm gonna post in the future. And if you're looking for a deal on a great microwave, I'm just kidding.